Hello everybody. I want to bring you today something a little bit different than what I usually do. I usually do paper crafts, but I have been playing with watercolors and I really enjoy it. I'm not very good at it, but I thought that this was a really good project for a beginner. And I am doing this today in connection with a group of YouTubers and you can search hashtag love spring art 2017 to see all their projects um there are some awesome artists in the group there some people do acrylics some people do watercolors some people make cards scrapbook pages um, mixed media it's a a large group and a, a varied group you know lots of different arts and crafts so anyway so i bought this block at tuesday morning and it's called a canvas watercolor resist block and I'm sure you can see the hello and the gold hexagons, but there are also some clear hexagons on here. So after I paint, the paint won't stick to those hexagons and you'll you'll be able to see them. So anyway, I got this a Tuesday morning for $2.99 and it was the last one. And I'll be honest, I really bought it for my niece, but I just, I really liked it and I want to do it and hang it in my room. So, so I'm going to steal it. I'm hoping maybe I can find some more of these on Amazon because this would be a really good group project for like the preteen, teenage, um, age group. So anyway, I'll see how this works and then maybe I'll get some more on Amazon and, um, do them, do it with my niece. So, all right. I just have an inexpensive set of watercolors here. I also got these at Tuesday morning. I think they were only like $4.99. Um, I really like the blues and greens, so I'm going to, I really like this teal color, so I'm going to add some, whoops, add some water to these so they can soak in a little bit. Maybe this one, okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to wet this a little bit first so that the colors will run and mix better, hopefully. Okay. And I'm just using an inexpensive brush here. This isn't a very good brush. And this actually, the water is soaking in very quickly on this. Okay. I don't know if I should do it. And, well, we'll just experiment. We'll just play and see what we end up with. Completely fine, okay. And if I ruin it, then uh, I'll just have to buy another one somewhere. I'll have to order one online, maybe, or something. Okay, so there's a base of water. And I just really like this color right here. So, uh-oh, that's very, very light. <clears throat> Too light, actually. I think I need some more water in my paint. Let's add some more water. See, I told you I really did not know what I was doing. I'm just playing. Let's use this darker color. Ooh, I like that. See, now you can see the resist on the rectangles. And maybe I shouldn't have wet it first. I, you know, I like I said, I don't know, really know what I'm doing. I just like how it looks. Let's try to add some green. Oops. I have a rag sitting here. Hmm. Not getting much difference in colors here. Might try a darker. I've got a dark blue here. We'll try some of that. Let's see. Uh, let's do the green. Let's go down here. Nope, it's still not very dark. Let's try some of these darker colors. There we go, we're getting better here. Getting a little better. Let's try that one other one next to it. Here's one that's even a little bit darker. Okay, and then here's a shade that's even darker still. Let's hope you're able to see. I have trouble getting my camera pointed where I want it. Oh, there's a nice color green okay let's see let's here's rinse my brush out 
Let's try this shade of blue. Oh yeah, there we go. Darker blue now. That's better. Now we're getting somewhere. And I'm going to dab the places that are resists. I don't want I don't want my paint to dry there. I don't think it will. I think I would be able to wipe it off, but let me just make sure. Okay, I want to add some more green to the bottom here. Okay, let's see what shade of green we want. This dark green, the darker colors seem to work better in this set. And it, you know, it might be that I just honestly don't know what the heck I'm doing, but that's, and that's totally fine, you know? Okay, I like this, there's a bright green here. Let's see what we can get out of this. Nope, it's too light, too light. And maybe I need to let the water sit on it a little bit longer. Or maybe I had, I don't know, maybe I had too much water on my brush. That's completely possible. Okay. I do like how this looks though. I think it's really cool looking. Okay. And this is a very easy project. I mean, I think the only way you could really mess this project up is if you ended up with muddy colors. And by muddy colors, you know, I've been watching a lot of um, videos from the my creative arts, creative arts collaborators. And the one thing they tell you is don't mix colors that are opposite on the color wheel. So, and in my palette, all of the colors are grouped together that match, which is really nice. But if you try to mix colors that are opposite, for example, if you tried to mix an orange and a green, or orange and blue, you're going to end up with mud and it's, you know, a brown color and it's never a pretty brown color. You know, it's always a, an ugly brown, not a, not a pretty rich brown. So anyway, so I'm going to do the edges too. Let's see. Now, I'm really not sure if I should wet this first or not. I really think I should. Anyway, we're, we're going to keep playing. Let's see. colors over here so I can let's see I really I love this bright this light blue there we go but it's really it really comes out pale so I really need something darker there's darker blue oh that's a pretty blue I love that blue let's see if I can get some more of that maybe some of that Maybe some of that. Let me see if I can get some green. Love these greens. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I like that a lot. I might want to go back and add some of that to the front. Okay. Let's see. Let's do it. Oh, okay. It works pretty good without adding water first. I don't know how colors would blend, but let's see. Actually, the color does show up quite a bit better. Whoops, I hope I didn't have that out of the camera. Okay. Let's do some more of this color. Oh yeah, the color's much darker now. I, I guess I really didn't need to wet it before, but that's, that's okay, you know, you live and learn. Most watercolors, when you are doing it on watercolor paper, you wet the paper first so that the colors blend but I guess you don't need to do this. Or maybe you put the color on first and then use a little bit of water to blend. Okay. Let me do the top. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this color to work. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I have a lot of blue and green in my craft room, so I think I'll probably hang this up in my craft room somewhere. Add a little bit of darker. Okay, make some splotches. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Move this around a little bit. Okay. I really liked that one turquoise color. Now I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been this one. Wasn't that? Nope, wasn't that. Wasn't that one, maybe it was a green. Maybe it was this one. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay. I might want 
some more green up here. It's just a matter of playing till you get something that you like. I really like these colors, so I really don't think I could have messed this up too much. I'm trying to decide if I think I want maybe some yellow in there. I don't think I do though. I think maybe some more of this darker. Let's see. I'm gonna wipe some of the water off my brush. I just like I like this shade of blue. I like dark blues, royal blues. Uh, one thing I can see is that you don't want to get this too terribly wet. I think it's going to be fine when it dries. It, even, it has a, even came with a hole on the back of it so that I can hang it up. So, there you go. So, all right, I think I'm going to call it done. I'm going to wipe the paint off of the resist spots. You could do this on your own if you have uh, rubber stamps and embossing powders. You can emboss something and then go over top of it. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably not going to come out um, as crisp as this, but um, but you could still totally do it. And it would be cool looking. It would just be a completely different look. So anyway, there is my finished project. And I like how it turned out. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I, I had thought about adding some flowers or something, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave it just like this. But um, once again, I hope that you will visit hashtag love spring art 2017. I like how this project worked out. I can't wait to see what the other people are doing. Um, and if I get a chance, I will upload something else too. Maybe I'll do a card or something because this runs through Saturday. So anyway, I hope you like this project. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe. And I hope you're doing something crafty today. Take care.